Alright. Hi everybody. I have not recorded since before Easter. Actually it's been like a month since I've recorded anything. So I figured I should probably do a uh, spring haul recording, I guess you could call it. Um, I was gonna do some recording for Easter weekend for like spring outfit ideas, but totally ran out of time with being out of town and having baby and just insanity and shopping and oh, I feel like I'm in a comic book, yeah. So <laughs> I actually got this at Goodwill, dollar fifty bin, love it. Um, so I guess. Probably gonna start with my giant pile of fashion. Oh, let's take that out of the bag. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this stuff first. So my first thing that I got it was from St. Vincent de Paul. It was a uh, orange half price day, so half off of three seventeen for this cute little white shirt. It's kind of like a a hippie boho ish shirt, so that'd be cute. And I also got shorts to go along with it. Yes, there are going to be a lots of pairs of shorts because uh, last summer I was prego and now none of my shorts that I previously owned fit. Still gonna keep it. I think I'm going to give up on trying to fit back into 14s for a while, so probably going to have a rummage sale at the new place and get rid of all the 14s. And if you hear Drew in the background, I put him down for a nap, but he's still not asleep. Story of my life. Yeah, so this one is another orange half price, $6.17, so half off of that. It's a cute little plaid and has the little tiny pink pinstripes in it and then the pink belt to go with. And uh, Morona. I'm not sure. I don't know if that was something that would have been like a fashion bug item. Still has the original price tag on it. So whoever bought these paid $20 for them and never wore them and gave them to uh, St. Vincent de Paul store. And now they're mine. Alright, next is from Goodwill. Goodwill's running a green half price tag sale this week, so half off of four ninety nine, just a regular pair of grey kind of athletic type shorts. I probably shouldn't have this camera so close to me. There now you can actually see them, sort of. I have them twisted the wrong direction. But yeah, so you know, regular old cotton shorts. Work as pajama shorts in the summer or just hanging out around the house shorts. And then these were a pair of, I guess you could call them mom jeans. But I took them and cut them into shorts. So now they're mom shorts, or high waisted shorts. So, and that was also another green half price tag sale. And it was $6.99 regular price, so half off of that. On to the next. Ooh, I found an item I actually paid full price for. <laughs> a whole whopping $3.99. If I can make sure that this is right side out, because I tried it on before I showed you. It's just got like the cute embellishment on the neck. I tried it on, and like you can see, bra. So it's going to be a uh, wear something over top of it top. Or like wear it as a swimsuit cover up, or yeah, something like that. Probably going to be uh throw a shrug over top of it just to hide the bra and wear it out in public. So that's that one. I have been dying to find a denim shirt of some kind. Um, sorry, I'm reading the inside tag. It says, uh, Street to Style by Elizabeth, the Liz Claiborne Company. So, this is a long sleeved, I have it rolled up obviously, uh, denim jacket, or denim shirt, technically, so it's kind of, it's really oversized, I think it's supposed to be something where it's supposed to, like, be feminine and still look like you're wearing a guy's shirt, just guessing, but, uh, it's not long enough for me, at the current size that I am, to wear it as a mini dress, which is what I'm thinking it was intended to be, 
but it's long enough that, you know, I could just, if it's kind of cool out but not, like, really, really cold, just put on a t-shirt and throw this over top. So I think this will come in handy while we're moving. It's official. We're moving. Um, I'll talk more about that later. All right, and then this guy fell on the floor. This one's another one that I paid full price for. Oh, I forgot to look for the tag on this one. $6.99, green tag, half price. All right, and then this one is a $5.99. I actually paid full price for this one. It's kind of a cute little flowy ruffled on the front shirt. But yeah, so it's sheer, so I have to wear something underneath it. And then this one is another Goodwill top. Doing lots of Goodwill. Goodwill shopping. $4.99 half price. Okay. And then, so you can see that. Whoa. It's obviously extremely low cut, so that's going to be another tank top underneath it kind of thing. Um, I bought this one intending to cut it up and make it into a tank top, but I tried it on last night and I like it too much. So it's going to stay as the t-shirt that it is. But this came off the clearance rack and it was $1.99. So that's that. I like it. It's fun. Um, <laughs> another pair of shorts. That's the front. And that's the back. Next we got dress pants, but neither one of them fit right now because I'm guessing they were uh, size 18's cut on the top of the stack. So they're a little bit on the small side. I was hoping for 18's cut on the bottom so they'd be big, but no look. And these both were from Goodwill as well. Uh, sorry, I try everything on. Not always in the store, but... So these are $5.99. Uh, half price again, of course. They came with the belt, which is actually kind of cute, and they're gray. These are kind of like, I think it was like last spring the crop pant look was in, and I kind of hate that look, but they're like that much too short, so, and there's a lot of hem in there, so I think I should be able to, uh, because look at that. And it's only about half of that too short. So we might be taking the hem on this out and re-hemming them to make them fit my legs. Because I don't, I'm not a fan of crop pants. I like the fact that they're skinny, but I don't like the crop. So that's those. And then these are the exact same thing. Ooh. But they're in red. Helps to... Show you. Ugh, they're inside out. That's why they aren't. Ugh. Sorry. I, I should have prepared better. Yeah, there we go. But yeah, so you can see they're pretty pretty darn cute. They got like the weird little notchy thing in the back, which I don't understand this. Uh -huh, it's perfect for my nose. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, so, and these were actually, you can tell that Target donates stuff to Goodwill, but yeah, so, it even has a little piece of the old clearance sticker on there, it was marked down at least three times, based on the sticker, so, but yeah, those will need to fix too. Uh, this was another Goodwill purchase. Lots of Goodwill, I'm sorry. Uh, it's a uh, $1.50 bin shirt. It's a uh, $16.18 from Tierra. Is that Tierra? 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 I don't know. 
Well, it's just a regular v-neck shirt. Uh, I know I have another one around here somewhere that's... I think it's just a blue one that has like a, a v-neck t-shirt type of thing going on. Uh, this one is another tank top, another $4.99, 50% off coupon, 50% off tag. And this was something that would have originally been sold at Walmart, but I think it looks cute, so I bought it. So that's the story behind that, and it fits nicely, so it's sticking around. Alright. And then we have, this is a blue brand, extra large 1618 tank top. I don't really own many gray tank tops, or spaghetti strap tops, so this might actually come in handy. Um, I know not a lot of people buy and show off their underwear on YouTube, but I'm going to do it this time around. Normally, a lot of what I purchase is bras, or has been bras lately, because of that size changing. But uh, today we got underwear. So, first off is the standard Fruit of the Loom hipster underwear. Kind of blah. Mommy style, that time of the month, underwear. So that's those. And then... The rest of these are going to be the Gilman and O'Malley underwear from Target. So they were having a sale, I think it was like 6 for 20. So we got cute leopard print with, uh, I guess you could call that peach lace. Just a regular thong. And this one was a hipster, I do believe. So it's going to be a similar style to the, for the blue ones. Another hipster flesh toned with black lace just on the top. Another hipster black lace all the way around. And this one is kind of sheer. So don't wear it out in front of your kids. Uh, this one's a bikini and it's got like, I don't know if I love the lace panel right there in the front. Maybe if it was all one piece it wouldn't be so bad, but because they have like the weird seam in the middle with the the strange bow and yeah that, that one's a flush tone with like white lace and then I have another one that's basically the exact same thing but indigo so that's those I got these lovely lovely shoes which I adore they're from uh, Technically, they'd be from Payless Art Shop Co. Payless Inside Shop Co. If you have a Shop Co., you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, then you're not really missing out on much. <laughs> Shop Co. is not as fantastic as it used to be. And um, from what I've heard, they don't have them everywhere. So, but yeah, so that's, that's that. I thought they were adorable. I love the snake skin and the braid. I would have preferred it if they were snake skin than black on top, but the only way they came with black on top was if they were all black. So, yeah. I like those. And then I got the Wet n Wild Color Recon bronzer SPF 15 in Reserve Your Cabana. It's more of a highlight than a bronzer. Just gonna say that because let me uncap this. You can see it's pretty close to almost the exact same color as my skin all washed out in the sunlight. So once I actually get a tan in the summer, that'll be a nice highlight for me. And actually it works really nice, like underneath the eyes, to cover up my my lovely mommy dark circles. And then, hold on, I got a nail polish when I got that. Shopco is running a sale of uh, 
buy one Wet n Wild product, get the second one free or half price. So then I got the Wet n Wild Mega Last nail polish in On a Trip. So it's that kind of, well, it's showing up bluish on there, but it's really more of a purple color. I'm waiting for that to dry. That's what it looks like. It's a better better representation than the actual bottle itself. Yeah, that doesn't look like the same color. And then I got two Revlon lip color and a rip lip products. One is still in my purse. The first the first thing that I got is the Revlon Just Kissable Balm Stain. And this one is in Charm. Let's see that down there. Yeah. So it's kind of a a neutral peachy color. And then I also got the uh, Lip Butter in Pink Lemonade, which is like this, but sheer. So it's like just this in like almost like a lip gloss form, but it's a lip butter, not a lip gloss. But yeah, I think that is all for my my hauling. Uh, it's a lot of stuff, and I apologize if you sat through the whole like 15-20 minutes of me doing this. Uh, <laughs> I hope you have a good day. Uh, hopefully today I'll actually get something put up on YouTube because I haven't done anything in like two weeks because I've been getting ready for Easter. But uh, I think that'll be all. So, see ya.